Doing everybody? Let's talk sports. Yet even more quarterback news to discuss regarding the UH Warrior football team. Tyler Gronke received his first extensive bit of work this fall, taking heavy reps with the second team at this morning's Hawaii practice. It's significant because it's a sign that Gronke is making his way back into the equation at that position. Remember, the fifth year senior who backed up Heisman finalist Colt Brennan the last three seasons was held out of fall camp while getting his academic issues in order. He was welcomed back to the team last week, but did not accompany Accompany them on the road for their 56-10 loss to Florida. Fourth year junior Inoki Funaki is already the announced starter for this week's game against Weber State. Kickoff for that one is 6.05 p.m. Saturday at Aloha State. Another local football product has made it onto an NFL practice squad. Brandon Rod, offensive lineman out of IAEA and Arizona State, was given a practice spot with the Buffalo Bills. Rod is listed as 6'4", 305 pounds. He originally signed with the Raiders in May as an undrafted free agent before being released by Oakland. Last Last week. With so many storylines this year for Hawaii's quarterback, it was interesting to see today which QBs were taking all the steps. Inoki Funaki appears to have a different backup. Tyler Grunke took the second team snaps behind Funaki. Grunke, who did not make the trip to Florida, has the most game experience and could now step in behind Funaki as coach Greg McMacken tries to get the other JC transfers up to speed. The seniors added participation does not change the fact that Funaki will start on Saturday but adds another twist to the QB lineup. Noki had a had a good day and and the receivers were catching the ball and running good routes and uh, Tyler we wanted to see where he's at and gave him some reps we haven't seen him for a while so we just want to see where he's at is it a matter of now because of what happened in the first game these two guys having the experience with the run and shoot could make a difference going into season well I think so you know it depends on how they continue to grow and and it depends on how the other guys grow you know we'll give the first two guys reps and and we'll get the other guys will learn on the move. UH takes on Weber State this Saturday in its home opener for 2008. This is the first meeting between the Warriors and Wildcats of the Big Sky Conference. Kickoff is at 6.05. The success of the UH football team is a part of a new deal for the WAC. The conference has won over ESPN for a lot more airtime up into 2017. A total of 300 regular season games and 45 championships are now on the TV schedule. The sports network is adding twice as much football games, four times as much basketball games, and more coverage for women's volleyball hoops and softball. There is an audience for it. The WAC title match between UH and Boise State was the most viewed regular season football game on ESPN2 last year. 33-year-old Aloha Stadium is getting a minor facelift. Governor Lingle today released $11 million to replace portions of the metal roof deck as well as transformers to light the field. The roof will be replaced in sections over the next several years to be able to work around the stadium's busy seasons. Lingle says the work is critical to ensure the safety of everyone who uses the stadium. Are you getting better? Uh, we're getting better. We had, a, we had an excellent practice today uh, in all phases. And uh, you really do get better your first game to your second game because you get game reps. Now that you have game tape and the players got to see their own mistakes, did the light come on for them? You know, I think so. I think uh, it, it's so valuable to see full speed reps, and we saw it about as full speed as you can get. That's what's good about playing a, a good team your first ball game, is that uh, you see you see things fast, and you see you have to play your techniques fast. So uh, they learned a lot from that game. I hope you're all having a pleasant evening. One of the biggest lessons learned in the Warriors' 56-10 season opening loss to fifth-ranked Florida was quarterback play is not easy. Greg Alexander and Brent Rouse struggled. Inoki Funaki, the new number one. And today, UH coaches got Tyler Grunke back in the mix, giving him his first reps since his reinstatement last week after clearing up academic issues. Yeah, we wanted to give Tyler some, some reps just to see where he's at, and we haven't seen him for a while, so we just want to see where he's at. Uh, Inoki had a, had a good day, and, and the receivers were catching the ball and running good routes. And with the ankle injury to Daniel Livre, Kealoha Polaris got some good looks at running back. He switched back from slot back. Game two for UH is Weber State Saturday. They're coached by Ron McBride, a good friend to Mac. He used to be McBride's defensive coordinator at Utah. He's the enemy right now, and he's after the ball game, he'll be a friend again, but uh, uh, he's coming over to try to mess up our season and uh, we take offense to that and we're going to protect our house 
and we're playing in Hawaii in front of our people. And, uh, you know, it's, it's very personal. Wildcats won their season opener last week, 62-6 over Montana Western. Former Warriors fullback Reagan Maui is back in the NFL. Six-round draft pick of Miami last season, cut by the Dolphins on Sunday, picked up by the Bengals today. Cincinnati signed him to a two-year contract. Also from the league, Indianapolis Colts signed former Warriors offensive lineman Danu Peressa and Tala Esera to their practice squad today. After Hawaii's 46-point loss to the Gators last Saturday, the best way to forget about it? Get a win the next time you take the field. Should be a pretty easy task against the Wildcats of Weaver State, right? wrong. They may be from the football championship subdivision, formerly Division I AA, but the Warriors aren't about to overlook any of their opponents. Plus, some Weaver players will be extra motivated to win because they are returning to their home state. Well, they're coming to play and we know they have a lot of local guys, you know, that are going to come back, you know, come over here and try to, you know, try to win in front of you know, their family. You know, there's like a, it's like a homecoming for them. So, you know, they're going to play their, they're going to play their butts off and, you know, we just got to be ready for them. We're looking at them just as if they're as good as Florida, you know. We're not taking any team lightly right now. We need to come out and, and just execute and do everything we need to do to win the game. You can't look at them as a lower division team, you know. Any team that you play, you know, um, or you might be surprised. Inoke, a Kahuku grad, gets the start for UH. He'll go up against Weaver QB Cameron Higgins, who is a St. Louis grad. So there will be a little St. Louis versus Kahuku in this game.